Creating rules for your waterline design will make your life a lot easier when you start modeling. The rules will control where your structures are placed vertically on your waterlines, as well as how your pipes will line up. You'll need to create a generic rule for your pipes, and then a series of rules for the structures. To create the pipe rule, in your tool space, on the settings tab, expand out pipe, pipe rule sets, right click on the pipe rule set, and say new. This will create a new pipe rule. The rule you'll create for your pipes is generic and doesn't change based on the size of the pipe, so give it a simple name. In this case, I'm going to call it Water. On the Rules tab, select the Add Rule button and add in a rule for pipe to pipe match. Now, I can't change the values here, so to hit OK, and then for your rule itself, expand out pipe to pipe match and change the map location to center line. The drop value will leave at zero feet. This will force your pipes to match up at the center line. Now you'll need to create a new structure rule for each size of pipe that you're going to be using. In this example, I'll be using six inch and eight inch water lines, so I'll create a new rule for each size. Again, on your tool space, under settings tab, expand out structure, structure rule sets. Right click on structure rule set and say new. I'll call this rule 6 inch water. Again, we well have to use the double apostrophe sign instead of the inch symbol. Under the rules tab, we're going to add two different rules. I'm going to add pipe drop across structure, as well as set sump depth. Pipe drop across structures is pretty straightforward. I want to, just like I did for the pipe, match its center line and have a drop of zero for both the drop value and the maximum drop value. The set sump depth rule is a bit trickier. The structures are not defined with a six inch diameter as they take into account a wall thickness. The outside diameter of a six inch structure is 6.36 inches. The sump depth that we want to set is the wall thickness. So, in this case, it will be 0.18 inches. Take note that you don't have to calculate the depth in feet as long as you place the inch symbol at the end of the 0.18. By doing this, the structure will be centered on the pipe. Likewise, when we create the 8 inch rule, The outside diameter of the 8 inch structure is 8.48 inches, so we'll set the sump depth to be 0.24 inches.